Hi, I'm Ros Blackborough and I'm the Head of Professions and Quality for the new MSE Critical Care Division. Hello there, I'm Kevin Kiff. I'm the Clinical Director for the MSE Critical Care Division. So we're here today to socialise some very exciting and interesting plans for critical care for the whole of Mid and South Essex. So Kevin, what do you see as the vision for the new MSE Critical Care? Well, I think it's a really exciting opportunity to think that we could be learning lessons from the first COVID surge and by doing that we need to acknowledge sincerely that everybody worked incredibly hard not just across critical care but across three sites entirely but I think that we need to learn the local the national and the international lessons and the, the data generated by the first surge to see how we can really provide the best quality care for COVID patients subsequently. Now, with that in mind, we've decided to create a critical care facility for COVID patients that require ventilatory support or room support on one site, and that site's going to be Basildon. I think it's important to stress that all sites will be looking after COVID patients, but for reasons of professional safety and delivery of efficient and high quality patient care we have to cohort those patients on on one site by doing so it's important to understand that that allows us to carry on with non-covid critical care work particularly in support of surgery for cancer for cardiac surgery for other urgent non-cancer surgery because by doing so we are preventing swapping COVID deaths for non-COVID deaths and obviously what we need to do is, is try and provide good care for everyone. It's what gets us out of bed in the morning. So as a vision we're looking to get people to work together across three sites to work on one site with regard to critical care COVID support but I think it's important to stress as well that we can't ever expect people to work full-time in a PPE environment doesn't work okay we'll burn people out and we've got to pay particular attention to staff well-being we've got to build sustainability into our working practices and I think I personally like you I'm sure I wouldn't ask somebody to do something that I'm not prepared to do myself so the vision is collaborative the vision is exciting I think the vision is all about offering the best type of care that we can offer as nursing as AHP as medical all of us admin portering the lot so that's the vision Roz I mean what do you think we would need to ask of colleagues for that so I think picking up on your point Kevin about collaboration that's uh, one of the key points we we need volunteers to come and help us in this uh, new venture on the Basildon site we need collaboration we need staff that have got courage to come and do something different we need to think about safety um, and quality of care and we know that we give amazing quality of care in the critical care units um, and we need to put uh, some of that into the, the one site the big new vision for Essex critical care um, but we need to also make sure that we have staff who work and are kind to each other, that show empathy to each other, um, that support each other, because this is a really difficult time. And um, echoing what you've said, um, the staff have been amazing through the last 12 weeks. It's been a really, really tough time for all of the units across MSE. Um, and we need a team that can bring all of that together um, and forge us into the future. Um, and we need ideas and innovation. There's there's no such thing as a silly question or a silly idea because we want to explore everything because what we are looking for is quality for the 1.2 million population of Essex so that we can deliver the best critical care in Essex and actually become kind of show-stopping across the critical care um, world as it were with this new venture. So what's our key message for today? So I think in today's vlog, and this will be a series of vlogs, um, is about staff well-being. It's absolutely paramount given uh, what the staff have faced for the last 12 weeks. When you consider at the peak of this we were ventilating 78 patients across um, Mid and South Essex and that 
has quite a toll on staff. Um, we have set up wellbeing centres across all three sites that we know staff use um, and we've recently sent out a um, package of measures that are available to staff. Um, we want to make sure, sure staff can access whatever they need for their health and wellbeing because if we don't have healthy staff then we won't have the quality of care for our patients. So what's our ask of staff today? Well I think quite simply the staff are exactly where we need to be with engagement. We are nothing without their ideas, we are nothing without their questions and their concerns. Um, basically what we're asking for is advice in its sincerest form. If you think that you can help, great. If you think that you can offer advice, great. There is no daft question as we've already said. Please feel free to contact us with any concerns, worries, questions, aspirations. You know, we are looking to build the best unit possible for COVID patients and for the rest of critical care delivery in Essex. And we cannot do that without our most precious resource, which is you as our colleagues. We hope you found this brief introduction interesting um, and we would really love to hear from you, um, particularly via email that are being displayed on the message now. Thanks for your time.